filmed like a real intro to this video but I wanted to refilm it like a lot more casually since I had originally filmed this video and the intro back in May because May is when Cheetah's birthday actually was along with his whole party and everything I did in this video I just like never edited the video and I'm trying to get more into YouTube now so I thought like why have this footage go to waste I did a lot in these clips i like made raccoon cookies made a pinata from scratch like all this all this different stuff for his party um so i just thought like it'd be a good video and not to waste footage i wanted to use it even though it was from may so i hope you enjoyed this video if you <laughs> so if you saw cheeto's birthday video that was on the tito the raccoon youtube channel you probably saw like the cookies i made and the pinata so if you want to know how i did that <laughs> watch the rest of this video thanks Okay, here's my dough. <laughs> Excuse me. All right, here's my dough. The recipe said it should look crumbly in the bowl, but have like a Play-Doh consistency when you touch it, which is what I think I accomplished. So, so invincible. Okay, I have two sheets of dough. I'm gonna go put them in the fridge and then I'm gonna start on the raccoon pinata. I'm gonna get started on the pinata. I actually just looked online and there were like a few pinatas on Etsy or a few raccoon pinatas on Etsy, but they're like handmade and they wouldn't get here in time for his birthday. So I'm gonna use some pictures I found online as inspiration and try to like, DIY it. I'm not really the most crafty, so I don't know how well it'll turn out, but I'm excited to try. I'm just doing like a raccoon head, not a whole body, because like, I wanna push it, all right? I'm gonna draw the head on a piece of paper and then cut it out on a piece of cardboard, like two sides, and then put poster board to connect the two sides and then cover cover in gray, white, and black streamers. Oh, and on the screen right now, I'll put my inspiration photos. One is simpler, which I might lean towards that one, and then the other one has a lot more intricate details to like show more details of a raccoon head. I just don't know if I could do that, but anyways, I'm gonna draw out the head. I have a few pieces of paper, because I guarantee I'm gonna mess it up the first time. I like like the chin and the cheeks because you know raccoons kind of at least like cartoony raccoons have like longer face oh, I, I probably should have drawn it sideways oh okay I'm gonna do that in the next round because I don't like the ears and I don't know how to fix it either I don't know if they should be pointier or rounder or like more to the side anyways I'm gonna do another try I'm gonna cut it out on the piece of paper to see if I like it. Also, it's gonna be a pretty small pinata, just so y'all know. It's meant to be raccoon sized, you know. All right, this is what I got. I'm pretty happy with the like cheeks again and the jaw, but I'm still nervous to cut these ears even more. I mean, I kind of just cut around what I had traced. I think I'm just gonna wing it and hope it looks okay. I mean, it's gonna be covered in like streamers that will have little frays on them. So if it's not perfect, I think the streamers will like mask some of the imperfections.
Okay, now that I have two nearly identical, I tried my best, raccoon heads, I'm gonna cut up this poster board so that I could put it in between the two sides, tape it, and then that'll be like the pinata and there'll be a cavity in the middle, or I could put whatever we decide to put um, in the pinata so that, you know, when he rips on it or tugs on a string, I'm really not sure how it'll work yet, it'll fall out. Like I ate her block. <sighs> Damn, I have to take the poster back. I'm sorry. Again? Really? Give me that. <laughs> You're literally next to a cat bed. Why do you want the paper? So I'm back to working on the pinata. I got swamped with work this week, so I haven't had time to work on it. And it's now the night before his party. My camera died when I was first filming the pinata. So you haven't seen what it looks like. And this is it so far. The poster board idea is a really good idea, in my opinion. Pretty solid, actually. Like, I can give it a good squeeze and, you know, it didn't crumble. So, like, I taped all the seams, except for this bottom seam. Probably just gonna leave open so that he could, like, reach his hands in there and pull out whatever we fill it with. But now is the part I've been dreading. I finally have to choose which pinata inspiration I'm going off of. I have streamers in white and gray and then some tissue paper in black because there were no black streamers. I could do either design. One's just more complicated and I don't know if I'll be able to do it. I might just like have to start and see how it goes. I'm probably just gonna do the easier design because it's really late and also because this is not too big of, you know, a pinata. So if I did like a really intricate design, I don't think it would look right since it's gonna be so small. started with the edges of it. Um, I think I might do a, a layer covering the whole thing first because you see if I just do like one layer, you could see the black tape through it. I'm gonna go with this design. I know I have to like start from the bottom so I could like layer up. Okay, here's my progress update. I'm not upset with it, actually. I think maybe I should have done one more row of like the black mask. There's nothing on the sides yet, but I'm wondering if I do the other side, if I can leave the sides not fringe. I don't know if it's just me trying to get this done with and take the easy way out, but like, I don't know. I kind of like that idea to see how it looks when I do the other side.
I'm done with the back. I'm happy I did all gray because it went by super fast. Now let's move back to the front. It looks pretty flat right now because it was laying on its face. Good to add eyes and ears. See the final reveal, Mitchell? You want to see the final reveal? My pinata. You tell me. One out of ten. You think it looks great? It's cute. It's fine. Okay, I have my cookies, my icing, and my inspiration. My hand is covered in icing. This is showing up blue on camera, but it's black and gray. Okay, here are the final products. I honestly don't have like a least favorite and a favorite. What happened there was that I was piping and from the top of the bag, it spilled onto the next cookie and I didn't realize it. It was very sad. Cause now instead of having four of the full bodied raccoons, I have three. It took a long time. I don't know if I want to make some more, even though I have more dough left. Of these three, they all turned out a little bit different. And his eyes are kind of huge. It, it's still spread out even though I let it dry. He has seen some stuff. <laughs> and they're perfect, but honestly, I don't have any experience in sugar cookies and icing sugar cookies, so I'm not upset with them. I almost didn't make any of these heads, but I just thought I'd give one a try and I don't think I'm gonna make any more, but it was a good attempt, right? I'm not too upset though that one got ruined because I'm probably gonna taste test him. Hello. So it's the morning of Cheeto's little party and I still have a lot to do. I went to bed so late last night after finishing the pinata. One thing that I have to have to do before the party, some of the things could, you know, maybe just not happen, but is finish his cake. Thankfully, I actually made a cake, like, you know, the actual cake part of it. Um, like two weeks ago and they put it in the freezer. So I took that out of the freezer last night and let it thaw. So it's perfect, I'm ready to go today.
Okay, I just spent the last like few hours finishing the cake, finishing some more sugar cookies because I needed to make more so that it would look nicer on a plate, and cleaning the house a little bit so we could put up these decorations. So now it's decoration time. We ordered this little kit off Amazon that had a lot of like cute animal birthday items, like these paw print balloons, these cute little hats that I hope Cheetah will let us put on him for like just a second, you know, just so we can get like a picture or a clip of him wearing it. If not, it might have to go on Luna. I think she'll be the most cooperative. We have a little sign I have to hang up that says happy birthday on it. Then what Mitchell was most excited about is this. They're freaking raccoon balloons. Who? And these literally like popped up on my Amazon when I was searching for like dog birthday party supplies. And so I'm fully convinced Amazon's listening to our conversations because what a random thing to show up on Amazon. You ready for the birthday party? All right, so I'm gonna open this bad boy and uh, get some of these balloons filled. Dang, this is so hard. What the heck? Which way am I even supposed to turn it? One, two, three, four. Now I push down. Nice. This is the part that I hate. My fingers always get sore. Fun! <laughs> oh no. It's heading towards the ceiling fan. Off the ceiling fan, but bye. The cat is mesmerized. See? I think I'll blow up some with the helium tank, and then also some, you know, just by mouth, so that he has some on the floor to play and jump around in. Birthday Cheeto. Ah! <laughs> so I tied this balloon, went to release it, and uh, I got stuck in my hair. <laughs> okay, we have all those balloons on the ceiling, and then this box full of balloons that he'll get to play with on the ground. Next thing I'm gonna do is hang up this birthday sign and these balloons, it'll like go against the wall, I think right under the sign. I think I'm gonna move the pop sun chair and do it right here. Cause it's, when that's gone, this is just like a blank empty wall. <laughs> Okay, I didn't realize that outlet was there, but I think I'm just gonna put it there anyways. And maybe in any photos I take of him, I'll probably just edit that out, honestly. Cheeto, not you. 